first time kung interview ni Miss Karina on a full length interview. Excited ako na medyo kinakabahan. Sana masagot ko lahat ng mga tanong niyo. Welcome po Miss Kyla. Since yes. the last time I saw you. Yes, opo. Oo, no? Ilan taong ka ba nagsimula? Um, actually, professionally po, mm -hmm. I was 12 when I started. Right after winning yung tangala ng kampyon, uh -oh. at 12, I joined Bats Entertainment. And then, Ayun. You know what? I, I met people mm -hmm. once before sa so one, one of my gigs in uh -oh. Kalesa Bar. I used to sing there when I was 16 years old. 16? Opo. Uh, wow. I would, I would do mga hotel lounge ano, stints, uh -oh. gigs. Uh -oh. Gra ganon, ano? Ang tagal mo ng singer. Okay. Ano yan? Paglabas mo sa sinapupunan ng nanay mo, hindi ka umiyak, pumanta ka nalang bigat pumirit. Ganon ba yun? Actually po, late bloomer po ako kasi nung na-discover po ako ng mommy tsaka ng daddy na kumakanta, I was already nine years old. Anay! Opo. I was playing with my Barbie doll. Yung fake na Barbie doll na puputo yung ulo. Oo. Ganun ba? <laughs> Correct. Pero okay, so, bumalik tayo sa Umuha naman siya at umiyak nung ipinanganak. Kailan mo nalaman na pwede kang kumanta na marunong kang kumanta? Right after that po, nung na-discover ng mommy ko, I was nine, inag-audition po ako agad sa tanghala ng kampiyon, sa bulilit portion. Oh. And sinalang ako kaagad ng mommy sa konti. Sabi niya, parang okay itong maganda yung boses ng anak natin. And then, um, in-enroll ako ng parents ko sa voice lessons. Ah, okay. Every so, be noise lessons ka na talaga. Oo, oo. oo, kasi I think you were an upper middle class family. Ang dad mo ay inhinyero ba? Uh, ano po, a, a CPA lawyer. Ah, lawy oh, lawyer. Pero hindi po kami mayaman. Kami po yung ano... <laughs> Pero hindi naman naghirap. Parang enough lang for school. Oo. As in, yung, yung damit ko pang labas, I only have two shirts. Whenever I would go out, I have two, three shirts. Bigay pa yun ng tita ko. Tapos Oo. parang once a year lang kami bumibili ng clothes. Ah. Tapos sa divisorya kami bumibili. Tapos parang whenever we would want something, my mom would always say, parang anak, you have to choose. You have to, do you want to continue studying in the school? Or do you want to, gusto mo ba? Bibili natin yung gusto mo, pero dito kayo mag-aaral. So parang we only had ah. enough. I didn't know that. Akala ko, Opo. professionals kasi, pero Opo. yung income, hindi ganun kalaki. Opo. Ano nang uh, ah. government employee in that? And then, a lawyer siya on the side. Hmm. Ganyan. So, parang kumbaga, uh, parang namaluktot din. Para, Opo. di ba? Namaluktot Opo. din. At kinailangan din ninyong mag-adjust. I see. Pero, they had enough sense na ipag-voice lessons ka. Opo, libre lang Oo. po yun. Ah, libre? Opo, kasi ang nagbayad po ng tuition fee ko was my tita. Kapatid po ng dad ko. Sabi niyo, sige, ako na magbabayad yan kasi sayang naman kung di mo i-develop yung talent, kanyan. So, noong nagsisimula ka ng kumanta-kanta, nalaman nila, paano nila nalaman? Nahuli ka nilang nagpa-practice? Hindi po. Um, kumakanta lang po ako habang naglalaro. As, ah. Pero before that po, nag sumali ako sa school ng choir. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi po ako yung napapansin kasi I was always sa tabak, nahihiya ako. Hindi ako yung bida, hindi ako yung lihid, hindi ako masyadong napapansin. Bakit? No, Mahiyain po kasi talaga ako. Oo. Pero gusto ko po talagang komanta, hindi lang talaga napapansin. Siguro po kasi lumaki ako sa environment na naririnig ko yung mami ko kumakanta, yung daddy ko, kasi they, they're both singers ah, din. Ah, they're both singers! Opo. Pero po silang member ng choir. Doon po sila nagkakilala. Ah! Opo. Anong choir yun? Saan? 
kung alam niyo po yung school na um, bagong himig sa Oo. PUP, Oo. yung choral po nila, sila po yun. Ah, oh, wow! Uh, Talagang may epekto yung kung ano yung nanay at tatay mo. Ganon din lalabas yung bata, ano? Opo. Hindi ba? So, um, so, musically inclined talaga ang mga magulang. Mm. So, ayan. Kaya ka pala pinag-voice lessons later. Opo. But, kumakanta ka na at nadiskubre ka ng sarili mong mga magulang. Opo. Masyado kang... mahiyain in mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. At dahil doon, nabuli ka ng mga kaklase. <laughs> Bakit ayaw nila ng tahimik, gano'n? Bakit naman ka po... naman mabubuli? <laughs> Actually, hindi man po ako nabubuli, but merong isang akong kaklaseng lalaki na yun yung parati akong ginugulo. Ginugulo niya yung buhok ko, hinihila niya yung damit ko, ginihila niya yung buhok ko, tatanggalin niya yung ribbon sa hair ko na tinarintas ng mami ko. Yung mag I'm not sure if that's bullying, but he's not really hurting me physically. Oh, oh. More on siguro, siguro may crush lang yun oh, sa akin. Oo, oh, oh. baka may gusto sa'yo. <laughs> siguro po. Uh, Biro-biro ka. Opo, oh, tapos one day, dahil mahiyain ako, uh, hindi po akong nagsasalita malasyado sa school. Um, parang napikon ako sa kanya. Kasi sinulatan niya yung assignment ko na pinagpiyatan ko. Mm. Tapos napunit. So wala akong isasubmit sa teacher ko. E eh, everyday niya akong ginugulo. So parang that day siguro dahil poet ako. Hinabol ko siya po. Hinabol ah, ko siya. Oh. E eh, ang bilis niya pong tumakbo. Dahil hindi ko siya ma maha mahabol, kinuha ko yung dustpan. Oh, <laughs> kinuha mo yung dustpan? Kinuha ko yung dustpan. E eh, di ba yung dustpan dati? Yung parang ano pa, yung parang yero-yero na may... Oh, oh, so, Principal's office. Mm -hmm. Eh, bakit balita ko nagsunod-sunod na yung pag-principal's office mo? Hindi <laughs> po, once lang. Once lang ba? <laughs> once, pero hindi na po ako ginulo ever. Ayun. Classmate ko na yun. So, anong natutunan mo dyan? You have to fight back. Oh, you have to stand up for yourself. Otherwise, mm -hmm. yung kung sino yung nabubuli sa'yo or trying to hurt you in any way will not stop doing that to you if oh, you oh. just keep letting them do it. Correct. Parang yun nag naging ano mo, no? aha moment mo. And then, mm. all throughout your life, yun na ang naging ano mo, sa sarili mo. Opo. Kaya lang ka nag-professional. Ano yung tanghala ng kampyon? I was on 10. TV? Opo, on TV. Um, that was, I was 10, tapos talo ako parati. Mga five times po akong second place lang, third place. Hindi ako nag-champion. So, the last year, na 12 years old ako, I joined again for the fifth time. And that's when I became the champion. And then Ang tiyaga mo naman talaga. Opo. Hindi ba masakit sa kalooban yung natatalo ka natatalo? Nako, sobra pong iyak ako parati. Talaga oh. hindi ko po matanggap mm. na ano na natatalo ako. Pero kasi yung mommy daddy ko sinasabi nila sa akin, don't quit. Ah, may ganyan. May ganyan. Meron pa nga po kaming poster nun sa, naka, ano, sa bahay namin, don't quit. Ah, oh, wow. Opo, meron kami nun para to remind us to never quit. Mm. Na until hindi, hindi mo nakukuha yung goals mo in life, oh. you have to keep trying and stand up. My ever best decision in life, without a question, is building a home together. Ito ang ulo mo. Hindi eh, ba init ang ulo ko? Mainit ang panahon. Oo nga pala. Tag-init na nga pala ngayon. At dahil dyan, may tips kami para sa'yo. Ngayong Fire Prevention Month. Bunutin sa saksakan ng mga appliances pagkatapos gamitin. Iwasan ang pagkakasaksak ng maraming devices sa isang extension cord. Itabi ang mga flammable items sa ligtas na lugar. We discovered the world of a unique franchise model. Our guest ran Makadangdang business owner and mentor from the House of Franchise together with his partner, Aliza Landicho. Find out the franchise formula that led to fulfilled dreams and let's explore the power of teamwork, mentorship, and resilience only here at Open for Business. Sabi nga namin yung success namin, it's not luck. Lahat ng to dinaan namin sa hard work dahil Kahit sa pagtatrabaho mo, kailangan mong magsipag para umangat ka sa trabaho mo. Open for Business with Cesar Vallejos, Sunday, 9pm.
sa Fisher Mall, Malabon! This coming April 6 na. Alas tres ng hapon. Makakasama rin naman si Miss Alessandra De Rossi, Kuya Tony Petcaba, and the Love Onion Bear. And Amboy Marquez. Halina at sama-sama tayong magkantahan, magsayawan, mag-games, at mag-enjoy. May mga inihanda pa kami mga giveaways and prizes para sa inyo. Gina, Gina kami! Gina kayo! Tara na, uban ni Mininyo, maglipay-lipay, kauban ang Sarkada. Gina, Gina, Sarkada! At pagkatapos niyang maging kampyon, eto na nagtuloy-tuloy na ang karera ni Kayla. Pero talagang wala kang apelido. Ni Launch ka, wala ka talagang apelido. Opo. Bakit? Kasi yung music ko po is R&B. Usually po, di ba, pag R&B, Aliyah, Tamiya, Brandy. Ah, ganun ba yun? Opo, ganun. So, okay. they named me Kayla. Para oh. mas, kasi po yung real name ko was, is Melanie Kalumpad. Okay. Yung, hindi po masyadong magandang pakinggan yung... Masyadong common. Anong hindi tawag po sa'yo? Kumar. So, Melanie. Sa Anong school. Anong tawag sa'yo sa school? Melanie. Melanie Opo, talaga? Sa school. Talagang, what? Out of the blue. Kaila, <laughs> ganun. Opo. Hinanap po namin yung sa Dictionary of Baby Names. Okay. That time. So, you liked it. At hindi ka naman nalilito ngayon. Hindi po. Sanay na po ako. Minsan, mas sanay pa nga po ako sa Kaila. Eh. Ah, Opo. okay. So, si Kaila was born at nagtuloy-tuloy na at nag-audition sa Ang TV. Mm -hmm. Ang TV. Opo. Nakapasok ka? Hindi po. Ay, so hindi ka nakuha sa Ang TV? Opo. Bakit? Kasi po nung time na yun, sobrang dami pong nag-audition. As in, feeling ko, nasa thousands kami. So yung pila po nun, pasara na po yung gate. Mm -hmm. Sumingit lang po ako para makapasok. And in that time, parang dinadaanan ka lang ng camera. Eh, hindi po ako maganda, hindi ako mestiza. Tapos hindi ako pinakanta. Tapos parang nakaline up lang po kami noon eh, kasi sa sobrang dami po namin talaga. Hindi po ako natawagan. Totoo ba? <laughs> hindi po ako kasi nagkaroon ng chance to show that I can sing, oh. ganyan. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so medyo bokya tayo <laughs> sa Ang TV, your loss. Ayan. Paano ka nagkaroon ng... Okay, so bakit hindi ka na nag-try ulit? Kasi... Walang call Kasi back. wala pong callback. Mm, alam na naman ipilit mo sarili mo. Opo, ano? opo. So naisip mo, that's entertainment. Opo. Iyon po, pinasok ako ni Direk Alcuin. Yung director po ng Tanghalan ng Kampiyon, he helped me. Pina pinakilala niya ako kay Tito Germs. Ah. And then sabi niya, isali mo to kasi okay yan. Yan yung champion na maganda siyang mm. komanta. So hindi na po ako nag-initian doon. Ay, Nakapas. kailangan pala. May kakilala ka rin. <laughs> Siguro no? po, it helps a lot. It helps, Opo. ano, na may kakilala ka. Opo. Okay, so thank you to Al Quinn. Opo, okay. So nabigyan ka ng pagkaka... Nag-audition ka pa rin? Hindi na Hindi po na. eh. Parang sina sina lang ako agad. Parang sinama ako kagad. Inintroduce ako na when is part of Wednesday group. Ganyan. Mm -hmm. And doon ka na kumakanta. Oh, but every week kumakanta ako. Sobrang saya ko lang. Ganyan. Talaga? Yeah, I get Kaya to see... Kano naman ang sweldo noong mga panahon na yun? Hindi ko na po maalala kasi diretso po siya sa, ano, sa bank account. Oo. Oh, oh. ah. Hindi ko na po maalala. It was, okay. it was pretty nice naman. Oo. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, so tuloy-tuloy na yun sa Tul dance. Oo oh, po. Pero hindi mm -hmm. po ako sumikat doon eh. Oh, oh. Nag-join pa po ulit ako ng contest after that. Ano namang contest ang sinalihan? Metro Pop. Ah, yung Metro Pop. Doon pa din. Okay. Pero parang nag-third place ako doon. Pero it still wasn't it. Hindi pa rin ako nakilala. Hindi pa rin ako nagkaroon ng um, recording contracts. And during those times po, in between those years, my dad would always send demo tapes sa iba-ibang record labels. Pati ako nagre-reject. Ganyan. Ah, wow. And... Wala talaga, wala talaga pong, uh, I mean, it, hindi po siya nagiging successful. Ngayon, itong uh, hindi umubra pa rin sa Metro Pop, so third placer, right? Parang di pa rin, ano? Mm. At ang dami-dami mong nilagari. Sobra Isa -isa po. Isa-isa yun nga natin yan, 14 years old ka pa lang, nagbabanda-banda ka na. Opo, so mm. nagbanda ko. We would always sing every night, Monday to Saturday. And I was still going to school po, ah. Hindi po ako nag-absent kasi yun po yung deal namin ng dad. Uy, pero nagalit na daw ang mga teacher mo. Opo. <laughs> As in, kasi late po ako parate. Biruin niyo po, uh, Miss Corina, every night I would sing seven from 7 
uuwi ako mga matatapos yung set namin mga 12:30 a.m. I'd be home, I'd be sleeping at 3 a.m. and then I have to wake up 5 a.m. so I can go to school. Minsan nalilate ako kasi ang hirap pong humakahan. O nakakatulog ka siguro sa klase. Parati po akong ah, parati. tulog. Ay. Pag lunch break, nakikipag-swap po ako ng chair <laughs> sa klase ko kasi harap po ako ay kalumpad, letter C. Nakikipag-exchange po ako ng uh, upuan sa kaklase ko sa likod. Para Tapos makatulog. Tapos doon po ako matutulog, nakaganan ako. Sometimes yung... Nagagalit yung teacher ko kasi tulog ako. O, so, nung pinapili ka, anong sinabi mo? Mat kumanta ka o mag-aral ka? Anong sinabi mo? Parang naiyak lang po yata ako noon. Mm. Siguro po dahil sa pagod. <laughs> Kore? Ah, naiyak ka lang ako. Pero pinagpatuloy mo yung pag-aaral mo. Opo. Ah, okay. Diretso Parang lang. pinagalitan ka lang siguro noon. Mm. Pinampili niya ako. Gusto mo bang mag-aral? Mag Sabi niya, kalumpad. Ano, kakanta ka ba? O mag-school ka? Pumili ka? Hindi mm. pwedeng dalawa yung ginagawa mo. 500 pesos a night? Mm. 500 pesos a night, tatlong set? Mm. Opo. Kasi band po kami. So, mm. parang, That's why. Yeah. Kulang pa sa pamasahe? Opo, kulang. Munti ka na pala, sayang. Mm -hmm. Sa Miss Saigon. Meron daw nakakita sa'yo na cast. At gusto ka sanang ipasok sa Miss Saigon sa ano during po, those days? Yes, opo. Sa Kalesa Bar. Ah, Kasi okay. during that time, yung, may, um, nagpe-perform po ang Miss Saigon. I think it was in CCP. And um, for like a few nights, they would watch. Pupunta sila sa Kalesa Bar. Wala lang, siguro, to just chill, relax. And then during break, uh, one of the, ano, parang after my stint, my gig, parang sinasabihan ako ng mga cast, you should audition, we're looking for, uh, you should audition. Kaya lang, hindi pa ako pinayagan kasi I have to travel alone. And mm. I was only 16 years old. Ah, so, my ka parents, ka na magulang uh, mo. Then, so, I didn't even entertain it anymore. I didn't sayang, even, ha? Opo, opo. Oo, oh, sayang <laughs> din yun. So, nagtuloy-tuloy ka pa rin sa pagsali-sali, contest-contest, hmm. Na, pero natuto ka na rin magsulat ng sarili mong kanta. Yes, opo. Ever since ba? Or natuto uh, ka na lang? Natuto na lang din po. Mm -hmm. it was, it's not really an innate talent for me, songwriting, but I do write some songs. Pero hindi po katulad ng mga iba na parang they can write songs in 10 minutes. Ah. Para sa akin po parang mood. Mm. Pag lalabas na lang siya out of the blue, it's like that for me. Okay. So kailan talaga nangyari yung big break? Um, the big break happened when I signed the contract for Virgin Label, Octo Arts, EMI. I, yung demo tape po na sinabnit namin for Metro Pop, it landed on the hands of Francis Guevara, which uh, was the A&R of that label. So, um, he called me, uh, my dad, tapos, uh, parang in a span of a month, I recorded the whole album. Mm. At first, di ako naniniwala. Sabi ko, I wouldn't believe this until I hear my song on the radio. And then when I heard it, sa Magic 89.9 pa, they played my song. Anong Pero, song yun? Ano po, Bring It On. Yung bring It bring, On. Bring It On. Tapos hindi po nila sinasabi yung name ko. Basta they would just play it and play it. Tapos hanggang sa nirelease namin yung second single, yung hanggang ngayon. Sa hit siya. Everyone loved it. Like, oh. people would request for it. I even requested for my own song. As in, <laughs> tinatawag po oh. sa mga radio stations, oh. can you please um, uh, play my song hanggang ngayon? Tapos, pag tinatanong nila, ako, si, who's this? Uh, this is Kyla. Kyla, the singer. Yeah, uh, ako yung nagkomenta ng song. Oh. Can you please play it? Uh. And they were so happy to hear me oh. actually requesting for my own song. Correct, and I would correct. do it on a regular basis. Ah, okay. Ang ganda, no? Yung feeling ng... Ang layo ng nilakbay mo. Ang dami mong dapa. Mm. Ang dami mong tayo ulit. Try again, try again. Yeah. Uh, hanggang nakuha mo na talaga. So, naririnig mo na yung sarili mo sa radyo. Ito na ba yung punto na you feel you've made it? Yun na yun? Opo. Ito talaga. na yun. Kasi, ano na po eh, nagkakaroon na ako ng mga 
gigs, parang mm -hmm. may tumatawag na kung pwede yung komanta sa ganito, ganyan. Parang talagang kumikita na ako. I was already okay. earning from from it and I was doing ano na mga mall tours for my for my album during that time campus tour. Oh, may manager ka na rin. Yes, opo. Oh, oh, may opo. Na. Na. Oh, oh. So dire-diretso na po 'yon. Concert na ako after a year. Ano sabi ng mga magulang mo? Syempre, sobrang saya po nila kasi nung before po ako maging makilala and magkaroon ng album, sila yung umiiyak parati. Bakit? Parang before ako ma-hurt, sila yung unang na-hurt. Oh. Kasi sila po yung nakakatanggap ng rejection first. Oh. Sila yung na-hurt for me. Ay, naman. And then uh, they were so happy. Talagang supportive all the way. Supportive all the way talaga? Oh, Ilan ba kayo magkakapatid? Four. Apat four. four. Pero ikaw lang ang kumakanta oh, talaga. Four. Galing, ano? Mm. So, nagtuloy-tuloy na ang karera hanggang concert-concert na, di ba? Yes, okay. So, yan ang mga uh, awitin ng mga pangarap ni Kyla. Yun. Mula sa struggle hanggang the struggle is real, hanggang sa natupad na ang pangarap. O, eto naman. Mm -hmm. Ano naman kaya ang mga awitin niya ng pag-ibig? Ayun! <laughs> Paano sila nagkakilala ni Rich? <laughs> Malalaman natin yan. Naku, love songs na ito. Love song! Pag-usapan natin ang mga issues na mahalaga para sa ating mga teenagers. Let's create art together in... Dito lang sa Net25. Let's get together sa Net25. Sa Net25. maghanap na magkakapatid ng hair collection ng mga sikat na celebrities. Ako, ang pinakabagong superhero. I am Mac Nivis. Bakit hindi ka kaya pumunta ng banyo at doon ka dumahak-dahak? Para kung puno ng plema yung lalabunan mo. Eh, kasi parang mas close pa siya sa inyo kaysa sa akin. Eh, ako ang tatay niya. <laughs> It's over, Dad! You're a loser! Let's get together Sunday 25 Sunday 25 Ano ba na nagkakatagpo ang isang singer at ang isang basketball player? Ay, si Taylor Swift din pala. <laughs> <laughs> si Taylor Swift din pala, ganun din. Sino na una sa inyo ni Taylor? Kayo? Kami po. Ginaya lang kayo ni Taylor Swift. <laughs> 19 years na po kami. <laughs> Oo. So, of course, Rich Alvarez is here. At eto na nga, paano kayo nagkakilala? He saw me in one of the concerts. Nag-front act po kay Alicia Keys. Ah. And then that's where he first saw me. And then he watched me when I had my own concert. Talaga? Opo, pero hindi ko pa takita na meet nun eh. 
Ni, no, no, no. During my Hindi. concert, parang... Bakit ka nagbablush? Huh? Nagbablush ka! It's good times. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Yeah. Oo, oh, oh, long time ago, no? Pero tama ba? I mean, when you were watching her as the front act, what, were, you, were you smitten right away? Hindi naman. Yeah. I, ah, I, 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 was, I was really uh, shocked. Uh, I, I didn't know. I just like, I was in awe. Uh-oh. And I just like, I had to know her and stuff Uh-oh. like that. It's not, o- it's not often, right? It happens, but... Oo. Kasi nga, ang galing kumanta, ganun ba yun? Everything. <laughs> everything talaga. Oh. Yeah, everything. Ito <laughs> muna ito, gusto ko lang malaman about basketball players. Bakit ang mga basketball players, parang hindi issue sa inyo ang height ng girl, no? Ano? I don't think so. I don't think you that's You don't, ano? I think, parang ano, pinapanganak ba ang basketball player na parang, you already know you're giant, so everybody else is a midget, or a liliputian. <laughs> diba? Kasi may kilala din akong friend, 6'4", and she's 4'11". Uh-huh. Yeah. Wala, wala rin problema. I mean, it's not an issue. So it's not an issue for you. Of course not. No. What's your height? 6'4". And your? 5'5". Oh, kita mo na. <laughs> Buti umabot ang uh-huh. pipe. Oo, di ba? So it wasn't an issue. I see. Okay, so the second time na nanood ka sa kanya, may, may intention ka na nun. May bala ka na. Yeah, I just wanted to oh, okay. meet her, like actually talk, and get, you know, get to know her, hopefully. Correct. Anong ginawa niya? Nanood sa'yo? He, Tapos? Parang nanonood po siya ng mga shows ko pa. The, the, basta nakikita ko po siya, nandun siya kasama ni mga friends niya, pinapanood yung shows ko. Tapos nung nag-concert po si Ate Regine, isa po ako sa mga guests. That's where I met him, parang few months after. Pero na, na, napapansin mo nang parati na siya nanonood. Opo, tsaka pa, tinutokso po ako eh. Tinutokso po ako ng mga tao. Tapos nung hindi ko po siya kilala, oh. as in wala rin para po kayo tayo. Wala pong alam sa basketball. Hindi ko po alam na MVP siya dati sa ating Leo, yung mga ganun. Wala po kong alam na ganun. Hindi ko alam na pro basketball player na siya. Hindi po. Diba basta tinutokso na lang ako kasi sikat daw siya yung mga, syempre yung mga girls. Oo, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, diba? <laughs> And then I met him oh. sa backstage. No right. concert ni Ate Regine. Nagpapir- so you really went backstage? And then, opo, nagpapirma siya sa akin ng tatlong CD. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ako ha, pasimple pa. O oh, ngayon, paano mo nakuha yung telephone number niya? Meron po. One good. Ikaw na, ikaw na. Ikaw na. Mas maganda ikaw. Gusto namin marinig ikaw, Rich. Ano ba? Ikaw. We have a common friend. Sabi mo natin kung sino. Oh, you have a common friend. And then? Ayun po, he got my number. And then, tinatext niya po ako. Hindi ko po alam kung sino. Back then, I was just texting, right? He was like, yeah, just, hi, how are you? And it just, slowly. Slowly. Tapos, yun na po yan. Tuloy-tuloy na yan. He would visit me at home na. After ah, practice, hindi siya natakot sa ano parents Ano naman sabi ng ma- mommy at pop, daddy mo? <laughs> sa totoo lang po, ang galing niya. Ang galing ng style niya. Kasi nakuha niya kagad yung heart ng mommy at ng daddy. Kasi yung first date po namin, hindi ako yung tinanong niya if I can go out on a date with him. Ang tinanong po niya, mommy at daddy. So, impressed na impressed sa kanya yung parents ko. Kasi usually po, takot yung mga guys. Siyempre. Ayaw nila nang bumibisita sa bahay. Ayaw nila, gusto nila lalabas. Eh, ayaw po ng parents ko nang ganun. Oh. Gusto nila yung nakikita, dinadalaw. Talagang sinusuyo. Oh, oh, oh. Very Filipino. Sinauna. Opo, sinauna. sinauna. Opo. Mm-mm-mm. Impressed na impressed sa kanya. <laughs> Siya, oh. <laughs> sa kanya nga lang po ako pinayagan na manood ng movie alone eh. Wow. Ano namang movie ang pinanood nyo? Do you remember? I don't remember. Kano maalala? You would lose in a contest. <laughs> oh, you don't sure. even There's, remember your first movie oh together? Oh my God, I know, right? I forgot. Basta ang naalala ko po, yung first time na kami dalawa lang magde-dinner, it was in CPK. Yeah. Dapat malapit lang sa bahay. Diyan lang po sa Tomas Maratong. Okay. Kasi, ano po eh, meron akong, kailangan ma- maaga ako sa bahay. Biruin nyo po, umalis kami ng 6pm sa bahay. 8pm, hinahanap na ako ng mami. <laughs> Asan ka na? <laughs> oh, oh. Pwede sabi ko, uh, traffic, traffic po kakadating. Hindi, wala pa yung order namin, di pa dumadating ano sa table. Ano ba? <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> nag- naghihintay sa labas ng bahay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay, po. so... Eh, di ka na rin naman teenager noon. Talagang oh, off-age ka na rin. I was 26. Right? 26? Oh, 
Wow. Or 25, okay. 25, 26. Years. So, so what are what are your favorite songs that she sings? Favorite songs? Make me holy, remember? You have like a favorite, favorite days. Oh, ganda naman. <laughs> Anong theme song niyo? Meron kayong theme song? Meron po kaming um, song na sinulat ni Brian McKnight for us in my heart. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Naging friend ko po siya. Uh -huh. And then I asked him, um, I know this is a long shot. Email pa po during that time. But you think you can write a song for me? I'm getting married. Uh -huh. And then, he, he, parang a week after, he sent me an email with a song and I recorded it. And then he recorded it in the U.S. And we released it in an album. Ang galing naman! Oh, oh, nakakatuwa! Oh. Ano naman yung linyang yon? Are we cool? What's that? <laughs> Oh, that was parang yun na ba yung version ng tayo na, ha? tayong dalawa na. Ha? Opo, yan na yun. Ayun. Opo, during that time, di ko po alam. Hindi, kasi hindi naman po ako lumaki sa Amerika eh. Correct. Si Rich, uh, you grew up in America? For the most part. For the most school. part, I see. Okay. So are we cool as the thing? Mm. The thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, and man, then, sabi ko, of course we're cool. So, oh. Pero before po nun, ang dami niyang sinabi. Parang mga about life and all that stuff. Yung oh, mga future. Nice Ay, ganyan. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't. I just didn't. Oh, hindi pa alam uh, kung pa paano sasabihin. Tapos yung huli niyang tanong, so are we cool? Tapos sabi ko, of course we're cool. Akala ko po, okay lang tayo. I didn't know na boyfriend ko na siya. Oh, oh, okay. Until after a month. Doon ko lang po na na-confirm na boyfriend ko na siya. Kasi, na, <laughs> so we had different dates. <laughs> kasi, nag, ano po, parang nag-invite nag siya, let's celebrate our one month. Oh, that's why. So, oh my gosh, boyfriend ko na nga siya. I wasn't sure the whole time. <laughs> oh, wow, that's strange. Oh, well. <laughs> that's kind of strange. Mm -hmm. So after almost seven years uh, going out, so they finally got married. So ito ngayon, yung mga pinag-uusapan. So recently pinag-uusapan. Of course, you had your child. Yes. He's oh. ten. He's, He's ten. ten. Oh. Paano maging mommy? What kind of mommy are you? Um, medyo ako po yung strict na mom. Siya po yung medyo lenient. Siya po yung cool. And, <laughs> <laughs> siya yung cool dad, kaya siya yung favorite. Ako oh, po yung medyo mas maigpit. I see. Oh, po, yeah. You have to do your, ano, parang ini-implement ko yung... Although he follows, he's such a nice kid. Like, on weekdays, you are not allowed to use your iPad. You can't be on the computer. You can't be on any gadget. You just play. So, we encourage buying toys for him. Ako po yung mommy talaga na, no, you cannot play. Siya yung, just let him for a, no. <laughs> ah, so weekends lang silang pwede mag-gadget? Yes. Okay. That's news for me. Kasi yeah. ako medyo, indeed, no, I'm not lenient, but they do gadgets, but certain periods of time lang in a day. Ganon. Kasi, Hindi ko matiis eh. When they're like pleading. Opo. Oo. Ang hirap po. Pero yun lang din naman ang ano, pinapanood. Opo. But that's your rule. Yeah. Weekdays wala. Mm -hmm. mm. We allow him if he wants to watch it on TV, you can watch it on TV so I can see what you're watching. Ah, Misan po nakakatakot eh. What, Ay, oo. Oo oh, oh, naman. What, what, Lalo yung ganyang edad, ano? Yes. Yeah. So is he tall like you? He's a little bit taller than his mom already. Already? At, at 10? 10? Yeah. <gasps> size 11 and a half na po yung what? shoe size niya. Yeah. So, wow, so yeah. he's the giant of the class. Huh? Parang, Is he going to be a basketball player? Uh, whatever he wants to do. <laughs> does he sing? Mm, yes, he does, pero hindi po ayaw niya pong i-pursue. Ah, really? Yeah. Palagay ayaw pong kilitin. Palagay ko basketball player yun, <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. Totoo po. Now, pinag-uusapan si Kyla because of, well, people find out that you keep trying mm -hmm. five miscarriages. Yes. Masakit pag-usapan, ano? Opo. O, limang beses siyang nakunan, pero you wonder, what did the doctor say? Um, meron po kasi, uh, the first two times na nag-miscarry ako, we didn't know I had autoimmune problem, yung oh. APAS. So after the second time na nag-miscarry ako, actually that was in 2018, the same year I miscarried twice. Parang beginning and sobrang heartbreaking, grabe. Mm -mm. <laughs> Pag naaalala ko, Naiiyak ako, especially yung first time that I, w I had to... Yan, iyak na naman ako. <laughs> yung the very first time na parang nirrush ako sa hospital and um, I was in a wheelchair and they're bringing me to the OR. Not because I was giving birth, but because I was miscarrying. But it was painful mm -hmm. na yung mag-miscarry. Kasi 
with Toby, di ba po yung excitement? Excited ka na, oh, dadali ka sa uh, OR, mag you're giving birth. But that time around, I was miscarrying, so that was kind of painful. I was hyperventilating. Like right after the the DMC, I was I was crying like nonstop. I couldn't hold it. Like I was so heartbroken. My friend who miscarried also said it's like losing a child. Yes, the it's pain. It's really like losing a child. Physically, mm -hmm. it's just as painful. And parang mas masakit pa nga siya kasi emotionally parang I can't take it. Di mo siya ma accept. So one time. Two times, mm. five times, yeah. right? Five. Mm. And in each time, it's in the same. Same, yeah. Time trimester. Yeah, it's okay. in the same first. First time, yeah. But the f last two times, nag tapos na po ng first trimester. Eh. Mm. Nag 13, 14 weeks pa. Wow. Yeah. So okay. parang medyo na excited kami, pero parang hindi pa rin. So what happened now? Bakit? Because of an autoimmune. Autoimmune. Yes. So problem. I really had a problem. We did everything we can. I, you know, our doctors are so nice. Even when we were in the States, I was pregnant. I can call them anytime and they would uh, uh, answer my calls, my texts. They were so nice. Parang even after all the treatments and therapies na ginawa namin lahat with, all the, with our doctors, parang hindi po talaga meant for us. So... That was kind of hard for us to accept. Right. Yeah. So the the doctors say that it can't happen. No, no actually, no, they were after the second one. Then after they the second, suggesting those treatments. Yeah. The treatments. I like oh. the other, yeah, all the therapies, all the injections. We yeah. we did everything. So they oh, they did. tried. So after the third time, they're like, let's do everything we can. We're doing all yeah. the yeah, all the injections, mm. shots, mm. payment, stuff like that. Okay. So how was it for you? Uh, well, I just just wanted to go for after my life because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. obviously after the second time it was like, mm -hmm. are we gonna try again? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I, given her, her emotional state and what she had to go through, I guess some people take it different. My wife, a little bit hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're just being careful the next next time again. The third, fourth, and fifth. Correct. Because we were doing all the treatments, and we thought, you know, we're hopeful. We were hopeful. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think para sa lalaki iba talaga, no? Because mm -hmm. pagka nabuo sa girl, parang ikaw na yung nagdadala nun, eh. And then your maternal instincts, your hormones yes. change. You already feel a bond. I think it's really different for men yeah. that they would be more worried for the mother, mm -hmm. the wife. Yeah. Ikaw parang it's like. A child na talaga mm. na, that you lose. So, ano balak nyo ngayon? Right now, we're not doing any more therapies. Oh. So, okay. kung bibigay, bibigay. Kung hindi, hindi. That's okay. Parang, okay. Yeah. Mm. Ganun pala yun, ano? Well, you have each other. Ilan taon na ba kayo magkasama ngayon? <laughs> 19 years. 19 years? Together. Oh, as a, married. From, from... 13 years married. 13 years married. Oh, okay. But congratulations. Your family is complete. You have a beautiful yeah. boy. Hindi ba? And meantime, are you still playing basketball? No. No? Why? Because? Uh, I'm, I'm 40 you're... plus years old. I'm is looking it? at a different career now. Really? Yeah. That's really a thing among basketball players that you have to stop at 40? Of course. Well, uh, I guess in, in basketball, I, you Ganon know, talaga. your bodies are, are not... <laughs> the same yes. as before. Yeah. Okay. So now you're looking into other things. Yes. Coaching. Huh? Like a coach. Ah, like a coach. coach. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, Tama lang. You know, yeah. maganda. Just trying to help the younger guys. Just trying to get them better and help, you know. That's all. Right. That's the thing. Use what I learned. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Pagkakakitaan pa natin yan. <laughs> yeah. Ganun talaga, no? Yeah, okay. And syempre, hindi pa rin tapos si Kyla. Maybe she's just beginning. We'll find out. Mula sa Net25 News, ako po si Alex Santos. At ako naman po si Ali Soto. Matatag, matapang at matapat na balitaan. Yan ang aming hahatid lunes hanggang biyernes. Alas 6 hanggang alas 7.30 ng gabi. Mata, Mata ng Agila Prime Time. Dito, dito sa Net25. Net Let's Net25.
together Sunday 25 Sunday 25 The Sinibata Video Festival is calling for submission of entries with this year's theme Friendship in Diversity If you are a Filipino video content creator for children on television or online platform. Show us your best work for a chance to represent the Philippines at the 4th Southeast Asia Video Festival in Malaysia. Deadline of submission of entries is on June 14, 2024. For inquiries, visit or contact the following. Armed with pure greed to do something for himself and his staff and discovered the world of a unique franchise model. Our guest ran Makadangdang business owner and mentor from the House of Franchise together with his partner, Aliza Landicho. Find out the franchise formula that led to fulfilled dreams and let's explore the power of teamwork, mentorship, and resilience only here at Open for Business. Sabi nga namin yung success namin, it's not luck. Lahat ng to, dinaan namin sa hard work dahil kahit sa pagtatrabaho mo, kailangan mong magsipag para umangat ka sa trabaho mo. Open for Business with Cesar Vallejos, Sunday, 9 p.m. Grabe din ang pinagdaanan mo sa buhay, ha? I mean, akala ng tao... Yung Kyla, ayun na si Kyla ang galing kumanta, queen of R&B, meron na siyang titulo ngayon. Pero yung pinagdaanan pala talaga namang tinutulak sa loob ng pintuan ng pag-audition. <laughs> Parang naiimagine ko yung tinutulak ka ng nanay mo kasi mm. magsasarang ka na ng gig. Mm, okay. And then all of those disappointments, all of the rejections, hindi na pili, hindi na tinawagan ulit. Diba, nag-bar-bar, limang yeah. piso ang bayad. Daku, <laughs> yes. ano ba yan? Grabe rin, grabe mm. rin. Akala ko, marami na akong pinagdaanan sa buhay. Iba rin pala talaga pag-entertainment, mm. no? Mm. Iba po. The competition is really so stiff. So what do you think about the days now that, um, of course, you're more protected kasi may royalties na. Yes. Uh, but there's Spotify. Mm. At ang dami nga yung mga platforms. What do you think? How has it affected the music industry? To be honest with you, parang it's it made everything much easier. Parang the world is so small now. It's oh. so much smaller. Na even in the music po natin can reach different parts of the world now. Right. So, kailangan mo gagalingan parate. Whatever uh, music you put out there has to be good. Kasi you'll never know who can who, someone can listen to that song right. and might give you a, a really good break, di ba po? Parang nangyari kay Justin Bieber long time ago. Oh. Nakita lang siya sa YouTube and then Usher signed him to be his artist. It's, world is so small. It's, Correct. it's so much easier now. Kesa oh. po nung panahon namin dati, nung bata-bata pa ako, oh. talagang literal na bibili ka ng CD, ng tape. Ngayon, you can hear it online. Oo, oh, oh. kakanta ka nga lang eh. Kaka covers nga lang, sumisikat na, di ba? Yes, opo. Sobra. So, what's your what's your thing now? So, kumakanta ka, you post it also on YouTube? Ganun ba ang ginagawa mo? Yes, opo. Sometimes, uh, nagpo-post pa ako ng covers or sometimes I would um, re-record my old songs and I would upload it on my channel. Ganun po. Talaga? Mm -hmm. So that's uh, ano no parang outlet na rin for you. Yeah. At ang daming na discover na yon na bagong talent. Wow. Yeah. And the talent out there really is talagang uh, mind-boggling. Ang daming magaling. Yes. Hindi mo iisipin. Yeah. And hindi na sila kailangan ma-discover o mag-audition. Yes. Opo, kasi you see them on social media. Oo. Oh, oh. Parang sa panahon po ngayon pag hindi ka magaling, wala wala kang excuse para hindi ka maging magaling kasi the resources are all there. Right. I mean, if you want to be good at doing scatting when you want to do jazz, you can search it on YouTube how to do scatting. Parang oh. there's no reason for you na maging wale. <laughs> oh, correct, no? Parang Tama. kasi all the resources are there. Pero hindi ba mahirap kasi ang dami nyo na rin competition? Mahirap po. Oh. Kasi ang dami pong magagaling yung mga bata ngayon ang gagaling. But I guess you have to stay true to yourself. Your, your artistry, your music, your musicality, must stay true to yourself. And 
just put out there who you are. Right. And don't try right. to be somebody else. Because it will never work. Kung meron kang tatlong best moments in your career, ano ano yung tatlong yun? Best moments in my career. The f first one would be when I won the MTV Awards, Asia. In Asia, I was supposed to go to New York. Ng time na yon. Kaso yung po yung May 9-11, if you remember. Yes, yes. Ay, hindi ako nabigyan ng visa. Buti na lang. Ah, okay. And then wow. second would be when I released my album, hanggang ngayon, ay ah, yung Way to Your Heart, where nandun yung hanggang ngayon, bring it on, yung mga songs na yun. And then, I can't say any, kasi lahat sa akin, every milestone is special. Right. I think the third is your ano, duet with Brian McKnight. Brian McKnight? Oh, right? yeah. Isn't, yes, isn't yes. it? Oh, diba? oh, oh. Big deal yun, ah. I'm oh, a fan oh. of Brian McKnight. Oh, and now oh. you're working on your new album. Yes. Oh, what's in this album naman? Anong bago dito? They're all original songs. Oh, so wow. I'm doing all original songs again. We're halfway done. Mm -hmm. So hopefully before, siguro mid-year, mid hopefully we can release the song. Okay. Wow. And the, the album, I mean. Okay. I'm sure. All we can say is congratulations. Thank you. Siyempre, life cannot be perfect, mm -hmm. right? Wala namang buhay na perfecto. Lahat tayo may frustrations, may mga, uh, mga bagay na hindi na natin pwedeng baguhin. Yeah. Pero malay mo, ano, uh, bata ka pa naman, ang dami ang pwedeng gawin. Yeah. At malay pa natin mangyayari. Yes. So, cheers. Cheers, cheers to... Okay. Cheers. Congratulations, Kyla. Thank you so Kyla. much, Paul. Thank you.